Hi everyone. Now we will talk about URL generation in Laravel. So first we'll discuss what is URL generation, how we can get current, full and previous URL, how we can make uh, links with the URL, how we can make URL with the child path and we'll discuss some important interview questions related to URL generation in last. Right. So let's move on first question. What is URL generation? See, this is a feature of Laravel that help us to save time. Um, and even you can see that it will make our task easier whenever we are working with the routes, links uh, or URLs, right? So for example, if you want to get uh, the current URL full or even your last URL, that time it will save our lots of time and lots of effort. It will give uh, many other features also that we'll discuss in this part. So to perform some practical with the URL generation, I am creating two more views. Right now I have only one view which is welcome.blade.php. Right, and I'm creating, okay, so we can use command line to create uh, views. So let's run a command php artisan make view and your view name. So let's say my view name is home and second one is about like this, right? So now let's make uh, routes for them. So let me use the route class route double colon view and then we can put their home. This is our path and this is our view name. Second parameter is a view name. Similarly, let's make a route for about also. So let's start our PHP artisan server again. Come back to the, uh, you can say that uh, browser. And now let's visit our home page as well as about page. Right, but right now we have nothing written inside the home and about page. So just write some text there. So in about, I am putting h1 tag and mentioning there uh, about page. And similarly, in a view, I am mentioning there. Uh, we can delete this line about a uh, home page. Now, if you will visit, this is welcome page. This is home page and this is about page. So now let's say you want to get the current page URL. So maybe you are on the home page, right? This is the home page and you want to see what is the current uh, URL, right? Then how you can get it. So for that, what you can do, you can just simply use, okay, let me just add their H3 tag. Inside this will show the URL, right? You can use double curly braces and use URL colon current and it, this should be a function and now you will see you are getting the complete URL there localhost and 800 port name and this home URL and now maybe you can think like this is not actually required reason being we know that we are on the home page right so what's so special about this why this we need we can just make it statically if we have the static page see the thing is maybe you can access the same view with the different urls let me explain what i mean so here you can see that we have a this home view a file right and we are accessing it from the home uh, your, uh, route so let's say we have another route with the name of user but we are loading the same view so now if you will access the home page from the home url this will be the your current url but if you will access with the user, then you will see your uh, current URL is a uh, user. So there, here you can see that we have the same view, but the different path or different URL. So that's why this function is important so that we can get to know from which path or which URL we are getting access this view. All right. So this is the one thing. Now the second thing is still there is a limitation. So if I have some uh, like query params like name is Sam. So that we can't get directly with the this current URL, right? So if I just put their name Anil, you, you'll see this is not mentioned there. But maybe sometime we have this dynamic uh, query param. How we can get it? See, again, there is a simple method for this. What you can do, you can use the full method URL and full. And now you can see that here we are getting the full URL. Even if we are on the user and I'm putting their user name is let's say 
sam or something here you can see that we are getting the complete url with the query params one more question you can ask so there we are using the uh, blade.php file this is the view part of our application can we use it inside the um, controller yes we can use but most of the time we need these kind of things in the uh, view files that's why i'm just using the view and blade template example otherwise same class same function you can also use inside the controller also right yeah and there is a one more method let me just comment out these things and you will get there is a one more method uh, that will give you the exactly same output if we will use the url function like this and in the scope resolution method you will use the arrow again use the url function like this right so you will still get the same url there you can see that there is a no difference at all previous we commented out and we, now previously we are using the url and then scope resolution method now we are using the uh, url object uh, and this is still working fine and giving the exact output all right so the next thing is what is the previous url and why we need it okay let me give you an example so from the home page i am making a link let's say i just put there a uh, link and this is will be land on the about page okay, right like this and similar link i am making on the welcome page also right and if i am refreshing this you will see we have a about page and if I am refreshing the home page, still you can see the about page. Whenever I am clicking on there, we are able to access the about page. Similar, same thing we can do with from the welcome page also. But on the about page, we want to check, we want to see like what was the last page, what was the last URL, from which URL we are getting accessed, right? For that, what you can do in the welcome uh, about.blade.php, you can simply use the url colon colon previous this one and this is a function right and now you can see that we are able to see the last page was the home page and here last page was the home uh, home page and this was the welcome page so because this is a welcome and there is a no more route so what was the last page here you can see that or better to if i just simply mention last url like this okay and now the last url is this and this is our uh, user right user page so if i just remove this and now if i access about page you can see that the last url will be the user so with that function previous function will give what was the last url from where we are accessing our current page cool okay so now how we can make the url links see sometime now you can see that in the home page what we are doing we are mentioning there uh, the you can see that the static about us but maybe you can simply use url colon colon and then you can use the two and inside this you can mention about right and it will perfectly work fine on the home page we are doing this right let me back to the home page and this is still working fine right there is a no issue at all so this is how we can uh, build links and yeah there is a one more thing i want to show like if you want to make the child paths with the uh, url or url generation how you can do that so let's say you want to access the about page like this like about about whom anil but this page is not accessible right now so i am making a uh, route for this first right so this is home about and there i am putting colon name like this now this page is should be accessible this is accessible now right so what is the thing is now you want to generate a url like this or you can say that this is our child path but I am telling you make URL with the child path. So this is the URL with the child path. How we can generate? See, this is very simple. Simply in the same function with the two function, 
put the comma and in a second parameter let's mention anything let's say i'm mentioning there anil and now you will see if you just visit, visit the home page and clicking on the second one now you can see that we are able to access the about and then child url anil also like i'm putting there about anil here you can see that about anil and if you want to inspect element and see what is we are generating the url here you can see that the perfect url we are getting there right so that's all for this part for interview question they can ask what is the use of generation url how we can get the previous url this is the most important question regarding this feature right thank you so much if you still have a doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm number for donation and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section thanks everyone